Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It is named as a Stribrny sheep in 170 second scale, so it's translated as a silver arrows and you can see it is dedicated to MiG-21 in Czechoslovak Air Forces. This is a dual combo limited edition, we have one of the uh, kits on our table that's a, let's say, commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review this is the final form of this kit and that's why it is interesting to see what is actually supplied inside and why this release is interesting for you so first of all we have this unusual for Edward layout in a vertical axis you can see two aircraft on it and it's really beautiful looking box art and it might be familiar to some of you who already have 148 scale Stribrny ship in their uh, kit collection. Next on the side we have some of the markings. Why I'm saying some of them? Because we have more on the opposite side. So if we turn over this page and here you can see more of these markings. And box is really heavy because we have extra book dedicated to this aircraft so it might be handy for some others who would like to learn more and what i'm seeing here is that book is written in czech language but i mean come on we are living in age of google translate so i don't think it will be difficult to translate it into your language and by the way here we have short list of the features on the side so it's a dual combo of 15 marking options mig 21 pf and pfm inside pe and masks included of course we also have brushing wheels and seats and book as i said before kit number is 2134 by the way and that's a top opening box here is what we have inside so as you can see a lot of parts but let's not forget that this is a dual combo that's why we get twice of everything and actually uh, MiG-21 in 170 second scale does not require a lot of spruce so I'm going to remove the dust and we are going to start with clear plastic frame it is packed into separate plastic bag I just opened it so we will check in a second what is actually supplied here so this clear frame is dedicated to canopy parts, surprise, surprise, but that's not all because we also have some parts for main landing gear wheel wells, we also have instrument panel here, and of course you can open the canopy on your aircraft, that's a really important thing because we have um, resin seat included here and also p parts included here, so all this stuff should be visible on your model, it's a shame to hide it somewhere inside the aircraft even though the canopy is quite large on MiG-21 still it's better to think how to expose it in the possible way as it allowed by the kit. Next we continue with two sets of brass and wheels so today we have slightly different sequence of the review so here it is as you can see we have these wheels in a typical brushing style so maybe i'll bring one closer so that you can see what we have here and camera is focused now you can see that casting quality is really impressive let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale set so it's just a matter of careful painting and you will be good to go and i think masks should be included because this is a now set which features some masks so it would be strange not to see now uh, stickers for landing gear wheels and one more reason upgrade is pair of pilot seats so i'm going to remove them out of the separate plastic bag just give me a sec so here it is it is casted as a single piece part and it looks really nice so it's just a matter of uh, painting with a sharp pointed brush because otherwise it will be nearly impossible to get all the parts into the necessary shade and of course some P parts will be used here so be ready for that but I don't think that it will be a huge challenge especially if you are ready to work with a 170 second scale jet aircraft and there is a different type of pilot seat on the second part so I will show it here as you can see we have the headrest molded or casted separately and still it is a gorgeous looking part so um, it's really cool that they included it here in a standard package next we continue with two sets of plastic frames so this is a dual combo 
here they are and we are going to check only one because there is no need to show the same stuff again and again from what I can see that are properly separated into two frames am I right just give me a sec they should be but they are not or they are okay let's open the first plastic bag and find it out because otherwise we will be just guessing whether it's true or not in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us via a special donate button on our website so now for example i have quite funny occasion i wrote about it in our discord channel by the way feel free to join just ask in the chat so i wrote that my pc broke gain it's a problem with uh, um, the power adapter if i'm saying it right so it should be fixed they will be fixing it for one week and that's actually where your donations come handy in order to let's say streamline all this process to help us uh, have the necessary funds for such repairs and i really appreciate your support with your help we actually able to grow we are able to improve the quality and that's really cool thank you once again and feel free to support us if you haven't done it yet i would be only happy to see it so here you can see first gray plastic sprue and we have mix of various parts so we have for example the rear wall for the cockpit we also have some panels for the fuselage we have some side walls for the cockpit again and note that they are provided in two versions we have pre-molded details and we also have plain version which should be handy with p parts but i think it's worth zooming in as much as we can and you will see all these parts in detail so everything looks cool and again we have some parts that will go into your spare box for example this pilot seat obviously won't be used it would be strange to use the plastic part instead of resin part which is supplied out of the box and if you flip over the sprue here you can see for example that pilot seat is also molded from both sides and everything looks cool molding quality is also i would say there is nothing to complain about so it's just a matter of careful installation on your model and you'll be fine with the model next we continue with the uh, two gray plastic sprues dedicated to fuselage house what is the difference uh, well we have two versions as you remember we have pf and pfm so first i'm going to show you the pf version of this aircraft here it is and in case you met the 172nd scale mig 21 it should be familiar to you i mean we get pretty much the same plastic which is really good i mean it's pleasure to assemble this model it's pleasure to work with it so in case you were let's say thinking whether to go for 148 scale or to use the 172nd scale this one is also nice and it contains a lot of features a lot of useful tricks for the model because you can do some things without painting whole model or maybe um, using some masking but here we are going to zoom in for example into this corner here you can see separate wing mechanization next we continue with the fuselage halves as you can see we have recess panel lines and rivets so everything looks cool again this is a 170 second scale model and the same can be repeated when we see these wing parts because they look really gorgeous and again we have for example small tricks in form of this leading edges which will hide all the possible gaps between top and bottom halves and that's really cool that designers actually thought about it we also have some guiding elements in fuselage halves so it will be easy to combine these parts together and in 170 second scale this model as you can see as big as my palm so it's not that small aircraft actually so next we continue with a plastic sprue for pfm as far as i remember here it is so we have pretty much the same parts layout as we saw on pf it means two fuselage house the top of the fuselage is molded separately we also have the now, tail wings molded here we have the combing panel the rear engine panels two of them we have wing parts and wing mechanization here so again let's zoom in so that you can see what i'm talking about for example here we can see this combing panel which i was talking about and attachment at points are really thin so it's just a matter of careful separation of the frame and you'll be good to go and 
to join these parts together. Again, external features look really good, so it would be a wise idea to think how to bring them out on your model, maybe with some pre-shading, maybe with some other weathering techniques which you prefer, but definitely think about it because it would be worth doing it on your small MiG. So, that's all for fuselage halves. Next we go on with the second plastic bag, so actually this double sets they are packed together and there is no way to get one set by choosing one of the plastic bags. You have to use or open both bags and then pick up the necessary spruce. So what do we have here? Well actually here we have as you can guess, we have two identical frames, so you can just take it out of the plastic bag and close the plastic bag in the box. And what we have on this frame is all other parts which will be needed for the aircraft. As you can see, we even have the nose cone, which is molded separately as a one-piece part. So you can paint it and install on the model when it will be painted and weathered. So basically you won't have to use any masks here just like on the big brother. And here we should zoom in so that you can see more of these small parts. They will be installed here and there for example in the landing gear. And also here we have some of the cockpit elements, engine parts, landing gear wheel wells, cockpit floor, rocket boosters, and some other parts, for example, air brake, which can be replicated in a retracted position, which is really cool, again, for small-scale jet aircraft model. And molding quality, as you saw, is really gorgeous. But next, we also have one more thing, which is really cool for MiG-21. So we have two aircraft, that's why we have two frames of this type. And this is actually the sprue, which is dedicated to armament. So you don't have to buy any separate sets, you get it out of the box, you get various missiles and fuel tanks and bombs. Obviously not all of them will be used, so some of them can go to your spare parts box, but molding quality seems to be nice and if this is not enough for you, you can get a brushing upgrade in the same scale made by Edward, install on your small MiG and use it straight away. And obviously resin parts will be even more detailed, but in my opinion this plastic parts are more than enough for the out-of-the-box build. Okay, so what do we have next? Because that's not all as you can guess. So we have special cardboard which separates plastic parts from the book. Really clever solution in order to avoid any accidental damage from the heavy book. And below it we have PE frets. So PE frets are separated into two parts. One is dedicated to PFM, one is dedicated to PF. So I'm taking it out at the moment. And here it is. As I said, it's pre-painted PE fret and that's why it will be also used in the cockpit. As you can see, we have a lot of parts which will actually improve the appearance of the cockpit. For example, instrument panel will have a noticeable influence and it would be a shame not to use it. I know some modders who are actually afraid of PE parts. Well, it's not such a, I would say, horrible experience. So just be sure to have the right tools and this will be actually the valuable upgrade to your model, which will bring the visible difference and it would be worth it, believe me. Next we continue with one more plastic bag. There we have masks and these stickers are pre-cut. So here we have various stickers, not only for the canopy as I said before, we also have some stickers for wheels. So one piece resin wheels, they will also get their mask set and that's really cool because it will speed up the whole assembly and painting process and you won't have to think about such minor things. Next we continue with two separate plastic bags which are dedicated to the cow sheets. So I'm going to take one of them for the stencils because they are absolutely identical, so just give me a second. Okay, so here it is. This one is dedicated completely to stencils and in 170 second scale we get that much of stencils, that many if you prefer, but that's really impressive because all these tiny writings, they will be noticeable on the jet aircraft and I really recommend to spend your time, apply them all and then 
be sure to admire the final result. Next we continue with one more plastic bag. So here we have a small decal sheet for ejection seat and canopy. Here it is. As you can see it is also printed in Edward. So I guess these are kind of stencils which will be applied on the canopy and ejection seat. But there is one more thing which is bigger and it carries all main symbols for 15 marking options as you remember as you can see we also have segmentation for um, cockpit symbols i wonder who will be using cockpit decals for such kits but they are here so if you are one of those guys be free to use these decals they will be also a good looking thing but obviously not as good looking as the p parts okay next we continue with a special book so this one is a, uh, let's say, a reworked and upgraded version of the previous release. So here it is. It comes sealed in a plastic bag. So be sure to have the plastic bag. Otherwise, it will mean that this book was open. So here we have, as I said, revised edition. So there is some extra information. It's a soft cover, which is actually responsible for this noticeable weight of the kit and now I'm going to tear apart this plastic bag and we will take a closer look at what is actually printed here and why this book is worth the addition to your library. So here it is. It's written by Martin Janoshik just like the previous release and here inside we have a color printed book which is really cool it's written in Czech language once again I will remind you but there are a lot of useful photos which will come handy not only for marking ideas but also for some weathering ideas maybe for some diorama projects and that's really cool because they are combined together with the color profiles and some of these markings are actually included in the kit so you get to read some back history and as I said today in 2021 it's not difficult to translate it with a Google Translate, maybe it won't be that precise translation, but you will get the overall meaning. And as you can see, there are a lot of cool shots of real aircraft. So definitely a nice book to have, especially for fans of MiG-21. But that's not all again, because we have one more brochure, which is dedicated to the marking guide so here it is as you can see it's instruction sheet which is printed in color maybe i'll close the camera a bit so that it won't be that bright so straight away we have the parts map because there is no need in history note it's printed in form of separate book assembly process starts with the cockpit and as you can see here we work for the pf version so you get two separate chapters which are focused on two different aircraft types so be sure to not confuse these two between each other and as you can see all whole layout is quite typical for edward here we have also loadout scheme for the aircraft we have masks application guide for pf version as you can see wheels are covered with masks as well as some fuselage sections which is really cool and next we continue with the pfm version so it comes on the separate chapter and here you can see by the way the next let's say new parts map which is related to the pfm again assembly sequence is more or less the same so just be sure to choose the mark in which you would like to copy on this aircraft. Know that there is an assembly option with a retracted brake or with folded. Of course you can open or close the canopy and again it will depend which parts you use for this aircraft. Masks application guide here and next we continue with the marking guide. So we have first marking option from 1969 and note that it's written in Czech language. But again, it's not difficult to find the translation. Next, we have one more aircraft from 1969, but this one is from 1971. And what is next? Just give me a second. It's somehow difficult to flip over these pages. So here we have aircraft from 1986. This one is from 1988. As you can see, green nose, quite a typical feature of MiG-21. 1988 and 1989. Again, quite a... I would say standard camouflage for MiG-21, gray aircraft. 
and here we have something interesting because it has the O on the nose so it might be a cool thing to copy in 170 second scale it's aircraft from 1969 here we continue with one more MiG from 1970 here is one more from Jatit's 1987-1991 one more from 1970 here we have two aircraft from um, the June and July 1971. This one is from spring 1990. This one is really interesting marking. I hope you can agree with me. And here we have one more from the same season. And um, one more aircraft from 1987-1991. And what else is here? So we have separate stenciling guide for armament. And we have one more stenciling guide for the aircraft itself. Obviously for PF and PFM. So all in all we have a really cool limited edition which should be already available and you can get it on Edward website. I would recommend to hurry because it gets sold out really quickly and then you won't find it anywhere. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to support us press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.